This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. One of the challenges of working in churches is that much of what we do every week is not obviously visible to the congregation as a whole. These video updates over the last three years now have been a way to make some of that work visible. But over the last week, I tried something new. We went back to a, a daily update schedule, and I attempted to document a week in the life of ministry here at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, or here in my home office. 60 working hours, a memorial, a wedding, a worship service, 21 group meetings and one-on-one -on -one appointments, 8,000 words written, and an archival project completed I wrapped up for the week. So the video today is simply a compilation of those updates going through the week from Monday to Sunday to give you an idea of what this actually looks like from day to day. And I'm going to leave this longer video up a little while. Tomorrow I fly out to Washington for my little sister's birthday, so I won't post an update this Friday. But I will see you all in the video update next Tuesday afternoon. Enjoy the week. And here is the week. I'm recording this at 5.07 on Monday, August 1st, right before I leave the office for the day. So, over the summer, my life is more or less run by this book. Each day starts with a list of tasks that I need to get done or work on over the course of the day, mixed in with whatever meetings or events are going on that day. One of the things that I really love about this job is the sheer breadth of it, which is also one of the hardest parts of it organizationally. Monday is usually one of the week's quieter days. The office here is closed, so I can take some time to come in, put music on, plan out the week, and work on long-term projects. Worship planning for the upcoming year, scheduling meetings for the week, working on my thesis. This Monday was a little bit different. This afternoon we hosted the Celebration of Life for Darwin Blue, a longtime member of the congregation who died this spring. Memorial services are always beautiful and always hard. Each life contains a multitude, and marking the end of one is important work. This memorial service was a little harder than usual because I am carrying my own grief from the loss of my grandmother about two weeks ago. What the poet Sarah Freelay calls the sad arithmetic of loss, how every addition becomes a multiplication. After that celebration of life this afternoon, I had my first rapid tonal shift of the week, sitting down to work on annual evaluations of the staff team here at the church. I've got one of my three direct reports just about done, and so we'll call it a night and get some sleep here. Looking forward to tomorrow, Tuesday is usually a busier day than Monday, with meetings with our congregational president, a, pass, a possible sabbatical location, and UCL's staff team on the calendar. This is also about the time of the week that I usually start to take a broad concept of a preaching topic for Sunday and start to put hymns and readings to it, developing the order of service for the weekend. Since we had the celebration of life this afternoon, uh, that will go on tomorrow's list as well. For now, though, uh, the next thing on my list is to go home and, uh, and cook dinner. So I will get to that, uh, and I will see you tomorrow when we go through what Tuesday was like. Continuing my day in a life of, or week in a life of series. Um, it's now Tuesday, it's about halfway through the day. I've left the congregation for a little bit to go grab lunch. Um, Tuesday is my really busy meeting day. So this morning I had a great um, meeting with Judy Hart, our congregational president, to really plan out the week and, and what we were what we were both working on and the upcoming board meeting and board retreat um, and really step back and look at where we are as a congregation. I also had a really good conversation today with um, the possible host um, of my sabbatical, so more on that uh, in 
at a later date. Um, there's always little things that come up. Um, today we've had a, a request for rental assistance from the community. Uh, I'm working with Kathy Disney to put together the order of service for this weekend. Um, and then this afternoon, we've got a couple meetings, one with um, Dorothy and, and Kim and Judy uh, at the church that I'll pop my head into, then an all staff meeting, and then tonight, uh, the first meeting of our pledge campaign, folks. Um, that happens in October, but the early planning for it starts all the way back now um, in August. Um, it's a busy day. Um, it's another. It's another morning, afternoon, and evening day. Um, but uh, but we are getting a ton done these days at the church. It's really a remarkable thing um, to see, uh, and to, to just start running down the list of what we do from day to day. Anyway, um, I'm going to head back to the church because um, my next meeting starts in a couple minutes here, and I have now refueled um, my body and my car. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. It's about 10.30 on Tuesday night. Um, I finished up my last meeting a while ago, uh, obviously. Um, but the interesting thing about this job is that it, it is ultimately a, a creative endeavor. And so uh, when, when the writing bug hits, it's good to, to get it down on paper or a whiteboard. Um, so uh, this is about the time I'll be taking my first crack at the sermon for this Sunday. Um, it always happens at unexpected times. The first draft of this sermon is actually um, sketched out on, uh, on the first page of a coloring book because that's what was available uh, when it first popped into my head. Anyway, I've got tea, some good music on headphones, the child's asleep, the dog's asleep. This is often when writing happens best. Oh, also, um, I realized that uh, this room has often appeared in daily updates, but rarely from this direction. I'm usually at that desk over there, uh, and you're seeing um, what I'm looking at right now. Anyway, um, as part of the continued week in a life of um, some days, uh, some days the job is not nine to five. Some days it's when the spirit moves. All right, music, tea. See all in a little bit. Spotify keeps playing Disney songs when I keep putting on my music.
Well, the time is now midnight and I've been reminded that this camera actually doesn't record any shots longer than half an hour. Um, but that's most of a sermon up on the whiteboard behind me. Um, over the next couple days that'll get turned into uh, a typewritten manuscript that'll be what's actually on the pulpit on Sunday morning. Um, I'm not sure yet um, at this point in the week if it'll be a word-for-word -word manuscript or if it'll be um, bullet points with improvisation uh, throughout. I've been experimenting with that latter format um, more recently. Um, the other thing that often happens at this same time um, is setting hymns and readings and the rest of the, the service. Um, often that um, precedes the sermon, but, uh, but sometimes uh, you get a bug um, at midnight. For now though, uh, it is very late. Uh, I am very tired and, uh, and the dog's gonna wake me up uh, in about six hours. So I'm gonna call it a night. Um, part of this rhythm too uh, is that it doesn't work on a regular schedule. So uh, I don't have any early, early meetings tomorrow. Uh, and so I'll probably take it easy in the morning, take my first um, remote meeting from home and then be in the office tomorrow afternoon uh, for in-person meetings there. This continues to be a fun project, um, both to share with the congregation what what a week of ministry looks like, but also to, to document for myself what this feels like day to day um, and what it looks like in, in, uh, in 2022. For now though, um, have a great night. I'll post this sometime tomorrow and, uh, and I'll see you then. It's Wednesday morning. Um, because I stayed up late last night writing a paper, um, that means I can take a little bit more leisurely of a morning today um, to take some time to really um, exercise well. Part of taking care of mind, body, and spirit that is so much a part of this. Um, it's also a pretty good illustration of how, how sermon ideas happen. Um, there's this idea of, of progressive overload um, in, uh, in working out and, and working out to a point of failure. So the idea, uh, including of the workout that I just did, um, is you do a whole bunch of reps and, and every, every five um, lifts you add a little bit of weight and you do that until you fail the exercise, until you, you, you physically fail. You can't lift any heavier than that. Um, and that, and then you drop back down to the last weight you lifted successfully, and that's and that's where you stay. That serves two purposes. One is kind of an ego boost to say what is what is the heaviest thing I can lift uh, with this particular lift today, uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, but it also um, trains you to to live at the intersection between the hardest thing that you can do and the thing that you cannot do. To live right in that edge where it's very, very challenging, but still possible. Because uh, in exercise, that's, that's where a lot of growth happens. Um, so of course that's about exercise, but it also could be the seed for a sermon. I have no idea if it will be, um, but uh, my preaching professor way back when said that, that the whole, your whole life was a chance for inspiration. So even, even if I take a morning off and do this, I'm still in the back of my head thinking, well, okay, what, what in here could, could we use with the whole congregation? Um, looking forward, today's, uh, today's a good day. Um, I've got a conversation with uh, with the faculty member that I very much hope will be uh, the primary reader on my thesis um, in about half an hour. Um, and then this afternoon, um, Ben McConnell is coming to Lincoln. Ben's one of the primary organizers with, uh, with DART, with this community organizing initiative that we've been a part of. Um, so into this afternoon, he's going to come to 
the Unitarian Church of Lincoln and meet with me and, uh, and a group of our members who have expressed a lot of interest in that particular program. Uh, and then he and I are gonna uh, have dinner uh, with the family and, and catch up a little bit about, uh, about not work stuff. Um, and somewhere in there, uh, get back to Kathy Disney about the order of service. I've got most of a sermon done, but, uh, but the other pieces that are the pieces that are collaborative with the worship associate really need attention. So that's the plan for today. Um, I don't know if there'll be another uh, video update. I kind of hope there won't be another one at midnight uh, tonight. Usually I have about one of those a week in me. So have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. So another day, uh, this is Thursday, continuing the, the day in a life of series. Um, I'm just leaving uh, Marty Power's house. Um, Marty and Bill are moving to uh, Missouri this week, so it was a chance to visit them and um, and take a bunch of food over to the, the food bank for them. So that's where I am now. Uh, the rest of the day is more um, community meetings than we've had this week. This uh, community organizing initiative through DART um, has a planning meeting this afternoon down at Southwood Lutheran. Um, I actually finished writing the, the sermon to this morning, so that's done and off of this list. Um, what runs my life. Um, and the other big thing today is there's a, the Mike Wolf event at the church tonight and then an executive committee meeting tonight where we'll plan out the board agenda for next week and talk through what the big pieces that we're all carrying are. Um, but if anything comes out of the, uh, out of the community meeting tonight through DART, um, I'll probably post an update about that for now though. Um, I think that's about it. Have a great day, everybody. Friday's my weekend. I don't have any meetings on the calendar. I'm not working other than recording this one update. Um, in fact, I am about to, to go up to Omaha to pick up some old friends of ours um, who are flying in this morning. Um, it'll be the first time we've seen them since, uh, since their wedding right before the pandemic. So that will be really, really good. Um, this is great. Some weeks aren't like this, um, but this week the sermon is done, the service is mostly put together, and uh, um, we're in pretty good shape. So I will um, sign off for now and wish you all a good weekend as I begin mine. See you on Today is Sunday, August 7th, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We set out at the beginning of this week on this channel to document um, what a seven day period looks like in ministry in the summer of 2022 at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Um, I think it's fair to say uh, after <laughs> on the seventh day that we're doing these almost daily um, uh, reviews that it's been a wild ride. It's Sunday afternoon now, uh, we had a busy day at the church, wrapping up the last Sunday of our formal summer indigenous programming series. Now we turn to the work of writing and, and developing a land acknowledgement. In the meantime today though, before we get to that land acknowledgement, we had a worship service this morning, followed by a presentation by Taylor Keene, the founder of Sacred Seed, about propagating tribal seed sovereignty and seeking cultural revitalization among tribal people. And maybe a little more prosaically, we had an AV committee meeting, a summer indigenous programming meeting, an A Street band rehearsal, and ah yes, a small wedding ceremony. In all, a successful week of congregational ministry. Joe Angel, the, the longtime radio announcer for the Baltimore Orioles, at the end of every game uh, says, and now for the lovely totals, or if the Orioles have lost, and now for the not so lovely totals. So and now for the lovely totals, adding up the end of the week. In the last week, it was about a 60 hour work week, one memorial service, one wedding, and one sermon. 
I had 11 group meetings or events, 10 one-on-one -on -one meetings or counseling sessions, six recorded daily updates, 18 months of sermons that I archived, and 7,956 words written for formal documents. For our update on Tuesday, I'm going to edit all of these videos that I've been doing over the last week into a single one uh, to get a sense of it. Um, until then, have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to sign off of doing these every day, and, uh, and I will see you around the church soon. Be well, everybody.